we're going to talk about the Cadabruno Barolo. Um, so, Beth, you tell us a bit about this wine and the region where it's made. So, this wine is made by the Rivetti family, who are on the fifth generation um, of being vine growers and winemakers. Um, they are, as we've seen quite a lot across the wine club cases, environmentally minded because they're really passionate about passing the land on to the next generation. So, this is certified organic as well. Now, Barolo is in northwest Italy in the Piemonte region, um, which is just south of the Alps. You get beautiful views when you go flying over the Alps when you go to visit um, the area. And um, it's well known for kind of um, its very steep hillsides, um, which are fun if you're being driven up by Italian drivers, and lots of fog in the region. Um, in fact, that's what the grape variety used in the wine, um, Nebbiolo, is named after the kind of fog of the area. Nebbiolo itself is quite um, a structured grape variety. So on the nose, you get lots of red fruit and the palate is high tannins, high acidity, lots of body, lots of alcohol. So yes, it, it's big and forceful, but they're all kind of joined together and kind of harmonious and in balance with each other. Um, and lots of powerful fruit on the nose as well that kind of helps pair with this. Mm. Um, it, it, they're very much food wines, but um, let's jump in because they're always cute, beautifully perfumed. Mm. I mean, this is fairly young for a Brello, isn't it? 2017, so maybe sort of just coming into its own. Um, maybe worth decanting for a bit before you drink it. Give it a bit more air, a bit more time in the glass to yeah. let, let it open up. Definitely, but the winemaker is also using slightly more modern techniques. So there are kind of a couple of camps in Barolo, um, quite traditional structured wines for much longer aging. But um, this wine's been aged in oak for 24 months and then bottled for another 12 months. Mm. So we get some kind of vanilla notes on the wine, um, but that kind of aging has also helped soften it out. And I think it's quite fruit forward as well. Sure, let's take a look. Hopefully we'll get to the palate and the tannins will be really nicely integrated. Mm. Mm. I mean, the word that comes to mind for me is silky. It's just the tannins do flow through the mouth so beautifully, don't they? It's it's not hard to drink at all. You do, they do, and you've got the acidity that really cuts through the end of the tannins as well and stops them being too mouth filling. Mm. Um, and, but lots of flavour. I mean, the red fruit. I mean, strawberry as well. Um, kind of a savoury, um, kind of slightly. Not, well, not quite a cedary, but that kind of toasty note as well, mm. really running through the palate. And actually, still, I can still taste it now. Absolutely, but I, and uh, all all livened up by some nice freshness. Yeah, um, there's a lot of freshness about this. And um, I was thinking about this when it came to to the food match that Abby's recommended. I think um, she's essentially it's a seafood pasta paired with a red wine. But I think there's a really interesting angle on that. It's it's a it's a clam pasta, and clams are a pretty meaty seafood. Um, and then you've got this lovely breadcrumb topping, which has those toasty notes. Which they'll match up brilliantly with the with the toasty notes from the oaking. Um, and I think you do see this a lot in various regions of Italy, where it's much more common to drink red wine with dishes that I think we would assume were white wine dishes. Just taking the the freshness and those excellent acidity notes from the wine and pairing them maybe with a dish that you wouldn't think to pair red wine with. So I think this is a great example of trying something new on the uh, on the food pairing. But anyway, a really excellent kind of traditional red wine, maybe mm -hmm. made with slightly more modern techniques, giving it really nice fruit flavours. Um, as Amy mentioned, definitely trying to count this before serving just to help soften out those tannins a bit more. But you, you'll have complexity, structure and really fresh acidity to really make your mouth water. <laughs> 